Good morning, friends. <laughs> this morning we're gonna talk about numbers and counting. Um, I came up with a little idea this morning about maybe doing these block numbers. Who can tell me what number that one is? If you said one, you're right. Now, I know that some of you can recognize your numbers, some of you can't, that's okay. Today we're just going to talk about counting. So I made numbers, I made one, I forgot to make two, let me make number two oh. real quickly. And here's a quick, hopefully this turns out okay. I'm just gonna make the two here. And I have some items you can probably see um, around you. I have some markers, I have some Cheerios cereal, I have little figurines. These are Care Bears. I loved Care Bears when I was little. Um, and my girls just dug out my old Care Bear videos and were watching them the other day. Still cute. Um, and here are some beads that I have. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count items using these number cards. I made one, I just made two. We have number three, we have number four, we have number five. If you guys, we're running a little bit low on paper here in the Scheller house, so if you want to, you can just take one sheet of paper and make smaller numbers. These, I only made these big numbers up until five, and I made um, this page, though, goes all the way up to the number 10. So do you wanna count with me real quick? We could count them. This is zero, that means there's nothing. Nothing there, nothing to count for zero, so we're not gonna deal with zero today. Um, zero, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. I know you all can count to ten. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our numbers pages and I'm just kind of going to mix them up a little bit. You can do this at home too. The reason I made them this way so there's space in the middle is so that we can count inside of the number. So I'm going to pick this number here and it's number three. And what you can do is you can count one, two, three, right? You can take your beads or whatever small items you have at home and you can put three beads on the sheet. One, two, Three. If you wanted to make this a more permanent like art project slash counting game, you could even glue them on if you had glue at your house. Um, you can use the beads. You can use the Cheerios. One, two, three. The fun thing about using Cheerios, we can't use those kinds of things in school. We can't use any food items in school, but at home, you can eat them. One, two, Three. See that? We also have little figurines. You could use little figurines to do it. One Care Bear, two Care Bear, three Care Bears. There they are. Another thing you can do at home or at school, if we were doing this at school, is you can make polka dots on them. Make one polka dot, two polka dots, three polka dots. See that? I'm gonna show you another number and you tell me if you know the number, ready? Mm. What number is that one? If you said two, you would be right. One, two. Let's try the activity again. What should I use this time? Hmm. Maybe I'll switch it up and I'll use one bead. One, and a little baby Care Bear. Two, whoops, I dropped them. Two, two items. What do you think of that? The other thing you can do while you're working at home with your families, you can pick a number. What number is this one? Some of you are this many years old. If you said four, you're absolutely right. What you can do also to make it kind of like a movement activity, because I know sometimes when we're sitting down and we're doing our work, it's hard to sit still for such a long time. So you could count one, 
two, three, four Care Bears. And then maybe you can get up out of your chair and do one, two, three, four jumping jacks or squats or you could run around the house four times. Your families would love that, right? Get out some energy. So this was a little just counting game that I decided that I was gonna show you guys today. Um, I hope you can play along at home. I hope you can maybe make some of these cards at home and, um, and do these activities at home as well. And if you have any success and if you come up with great ideas and if you come up with great um, physical movement ideas for your numbers to count, share them with me. You can write a comment, you could video yourself and send it back to me so that I can kind of see that you guys are working on this stuff. This sheet, if you decide to do it this way, you'll need little tinier items. So maybe instead of making big polka dots, I would just do um, little polka dots. So say if I would did number five, I might put one, two, three, four, five polka dots. If you have something little like Cheerios or beads, they'll fit nicely on here. So if I pick the number two, I would put one, two beads on there. I'm gonna try to trick you. If I pick the number zero, how many items am I gonna put on that zero? No, none. Sometimes I think of the zero as an empty hole and if it's an empty hole, there's nothing in there, right? That means there's nothing to count. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this activity. Share with me anything else you guys do at home, and I will see you another time. Have a great day. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.